we just have to be careful about these things and go ahead and talk about them and do this about certain things. We have to clear this with DNC. Extreme. Extreme. With, with Democrat National Committee. We have to clear which message we're going to be targeting at each event. In the end, it was the candidate, Hillary Clinton, the, new, the, the future president of the United States, who wanted ducks on the ground. So by God, we will give ducks on the ground. And, oh, uh, so it's... Wow. Don't, don't repeat that thing. Don't repeat that thing. I think this duck is going to get... Somewhere. I just got punished on for on Monday morning. I mean, did ya? I was in a duck costume. <laughs> if the future president of the United States want ducks on the ground, we will put ducks on the ground. This is part three of our undercover investigation into the dark, backroom dealings of the Hillary Clinton campaign. In this story, we'll show an illegal dark money conspiracy between the Hillary Clinton campaign, the DNC, and the non-for-profit corporation, Americans United for Change. And it's all disguised as a duck. So I'm basically deputy rapid response director for the DNC for all things Trump on the ground. Nobody's really supposed to know about me. You know, Brad and Bob and Lux and myself are all part of the old school method where it doesn't matter what the freaking legal and ethics people say. We need to win this motherfucker. Um, so, Bob is really good friends with them and talked to him this afternoon. And they are all in. If we can get 25 grand, they're all in. It was earlier this year when people in Donald Duck costumes started showing up at Trump events across the country. It turns out the duck was Hillary's idea. Why don't we start this initiative for the tax returns? Right. So. Tomorrow morning at Trump Tower. I hope we can arrange it so it goes down the escalator. We will launch Donald Ducks. A guy in a Donald Duck costume with a sign that says Donald Ducks releasing his tax returns. Robert Creamer runs Democracy Partners. It's a political consulting company based in Washington, D.C., with deep ties to Hillary Clinton, the Democratic National Committee, and Obama's White House. In fact, White House logs document that Creamer visited the White House 342 times and met directly with Obama 47 times. In the end, that is adapted to the Donald Duck's debate, Donald Duck's whatever else he does. That's hilarious. But we're so going to make this Donald, mental. We're going to have Donald Duck's. And the real problem turns out that you know it's not easy to find Donald Duck costumes for adults. Oh, as really? you might imagine. Five-year-olds, plenty of them. But the other well, ones yeah, are mascots. Disney. We did Donald Ducks in May. Brad Woodhouse is president of Americans United for Change. After our first video, Woodhouse fired Scott Fovel, his national field director. We put out a whole blast and a release around the idea that he was, you know, using his name, that you know, right, right. That we, there was on taxes at that point, because, you know, this thing's right. come up repeatedly. And we... See, the, the key here is to have the visual and to have the costume and have the sign. We got so much shit for that blast that, you know, reporters thought it was silly. And, and, and I do think they're probably still... That's you know, probably being shot. Oh, well, the reporters probably still think it's silly. But you know what? We ain't talking to reporters. They're covering it. We're talking to voters. Well, okay. Actually, right. your response to reporters yeah. this morning was they loved it. Originally, we were going to do a project. We were going to do Uncle Sam. I want you to give us your tax returns. I agree it's not as good. Been done, yeah. I agree it's not as good. It's much easier to execute. The guy who had done this other Chicken George thing had this other idea. And in the end, it was the candidate, Hillary Clinton, the, new, the, the future president of the United States, who wanted ducks on the ground. So, by God, we will give ducks on the ground. And, oh, uh, so it's. Wow. Don't repeat that thing. Okay. Uh, and the uh, uh, and it is a clever, it's a better idea. Originally, you know, this guy Squatter, who was the did did um, Chicken George in 1992, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, came to Lux and I with the idea of Donald Ducks, and I ran it up the flagpole in New York in person, and. and and then they came up and they said, said, we'd rather do, uh, what do you call it, uh, Uncle Sam. And I want you to release your textures. And God loves Uncle Sam suits are easy to find for adults. Um, 
But then I get a call, actually, on, on the plane about to go to London last week, mm -hmm. Christina Rowland calls and says, I've got good news and bad news. Good news is the candidate would like to have a mascot following around the duck. I mean, following around the candidate, Trump. But the bad news is she wants it to be Donald Duck. And that's because Sklar mm -hmm. is an old Clinton hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had gone to some buddy of his who's one of her body people, mm -hmm. and she had explained the explained the idea to Hillary, and Hillary just loved it. Okay, let me tell you something. I think she has the right instinct here. I told you this, this thing is oh, right. right it's it's resonating, but that story is not exactly what you want to hear about how and presidential decision-making happens. So my answer to Christina was, if the future president of the United States want ducks on the ground, we will put ducks on the ground. Hillary Clinton and the DNC wanted the Donald Ducks at Trump and Pence events. The direct involvement of the campaign and the Democratic National Committee with Americans United for Change and Donald Ducks smacks of illegal, coordinated campaign expenditures. Federal campaign law experts have told us, quote, the ducks on the ground are likely public communications for purposes of the law. It's political activity opposing Trump, paid for by Americans United for Change funds, but controlled by Clinton and her campaign, unquote. Representatives of Hillary's campaign were on daily conference calls we witnessed with Kramer, AUFC managers and their operatives. They were talking about where to send the ducks and the ducks message. And not just the campaign. Donna Brazil's Democratic National Committee was in on it as well. So the, the operation is to insert and get the duck message in there, if we can, or the extremist message, depending on, we have to clear this with DNC. Extreme, extreme. With, with Democratic National Committee, we have to clear which message we're going to be targeting at each event. Uh -huh. But they can insert into multiple events through, now through the end of the election on a continual basis, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. They'll basically do a chase all the way across the country. Now, the the duck stuff, mm -hmm. um, we got him waving at it. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, but w for, the, for the aggressive bird dogging, I, I want to make sure I stay on track here. For the aggressive bird dogging, yeah. um, we want to do front of the line in before the events, uh -huh. where we're plastering the outside with the Trump duck message, uh -huh. and then going into the events, everybody has their phones. We insert like 20 people, mm -hmm. 20 to 30 people into the events, where they all have their phones set to go off the exact same time on an alarm with the duck call on the inside of the events all at once from all over the event. So, so they all catch like the incident um, going down or? So, we want the media uh -huh. to notice the duck calls, right? Uh -huh. So, we have everybody load a ringtone on their, on their phone uh -huh. that are all times go off at the exact same time. We just ordered a thousand rubber duckies with Donald Duck's ring on them to hand out to people in the press. That's a and cool idea. Gonna, that is a cool idea. We got to order a bunch of guys, a bunch of Donald Duck hats so we can put people behind them at the at various events, you know, where they speak. You get the drift? I'm trying to set up, we'll probably set up a mini website. Right? So it's got to be Donald Duck. It's got to look like Donald Duck. Like Do they really? Do they license the suits? And put, yeah, yeah so that's why it's, it's expensive to buy or rent them, because they're licensed. Do you run into, you're not going to run into a Disney problem, right? Maybe. With a copyright no. issue? Or, Let them sue us, please, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God, that is awesome, right? Because you're going to get... I, I doubt that they will, because, you know, they're paying the rent for buying the suits. And that's when they get their license fee. We're not using it for commercial purposes. And the DNC didn't just help place Donald Duck at protests. They were in charge of it. Yeah. The whole the whole Duck thing, that came about, the reason we moved it from DNC to AUFC was to just do a hopscotch. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the actual idea was hatched way back in May. So our journalist asked Creamer why there was a problem with the DNC taking credit for the duck. The duck has to be uh, an American United for Change entity. This had to do only with uh, some problem between Donna Brazil and ABC, which is owned by Disney. 
because they were worried about our trademark issue. That's why. Oh, it's, okay. It's really silly. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. they go to New York. New York didn't care about any of that shit. Okay. Was so it's just like a trademark issue with. They said, yeah, we we originally launched this duck because Hillary Clinton wants the duck. In any case, so she really wanted this duck figure out there doing this stuff, so that was fine. So we put all these ducks out there and get a lot of coverage. And, you know, the duck they truck taxes. And then ABC, they say, Disney went crazy because they thought our original slogan was Donald Duck's the, his tax payment, you know, releasing his tax returns. They said it was a trademark. It's not. But anyway, Donna Brazil had, you know, had a, kind of a, a connection with it. She wanted to get sued, you know, and so on. So we switched the ownership of the duck to American Genetic for Change, which, uh, and now our signs say Trump ducks releasing his tax returns. On August the 18th, the Wall Street Journal wrote that Donald Ducks was the creation of the Democratic National Committee. Then on September 8th, the journal reported that the DNC cut ties with the duck. Quote, the DNC is no longer associated with the duck. Americans United for Change is now managing the duck, a consultant for the liberal activist group told the Wall Street Journal, unquote. But behind the scenes, the DNC and the Hillary Clinton campaign was still running the show, breaking federal campaign coordination laws. Kind of to divvy up responsibility, so sometimes it'll be like campaign owned. So like sometimes you'll see like that they advise something, or they're taking credit for things. So like we're not taking credit for the duck anymore. That's like random allied groups, um, but it's oh. still something that we're involved in. But why aren't you taking credit? Just because there, there were issues. There, uh -huh. there were like it's a whole long story. I have Bob about it. Intro party politics. But oh, okay. No, it wasn't for the politics, but we just have to be careful about these things and the way we talk about them and we know it's about certain things, but you guys are, I trust it, it'll all be fine. Um, hmm. Kramer and Fovel even expected there to be violence following the duck, and it sounded like they wanted it to happen. Yeah. Have you ever <laughs> plastic duck? You're gonna, these, you're gonna have these ducks at some of these rallies, right? Sure. Every rally. Yeah. So are you? Are, are you enough people with them to provide protection? Provide protection, duck. Because I, I got to tell you, I think I think this duck is gonna get roughed up somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, I'm sure. Somewhere, someone's gonna rip his it rip his costume off. It's yeah. It may happen at the Iowa State Fair this week. Yeah, because Pence is there and the duck is planning to follow him around. It's about not, intense. Not, not the, not the duck itself. No. Okay. Because that's all, the only it's all the reaction to the duck call I and see. the signs. Okay. Because once they pull out these signs, Trump supporters literally start throwing punches at people. What did I almost that? got punched on for on Monday morning? I mean, did ya? I was in a duck costume. <laughs> Fovel didn't get punched, but last week he got fired. Robert Creamer resigned from Clinton campaign activities. It was after Watergate that Congress passed the campaign coordination law. To prove a violation, three prongs are required. Payment by someone else other than the candidate for election activity. Conduct, a campaign being materially involved in shaping communications by third party groups. And content, running electoral advocacy close to an election. The payment is complicated. But just the fact that Fovel, a paid employee of Americans United for Change, was the duck at some events constitutes payment by AUFC. Conduct, based on their own admission the campaign, Creamer, their agent, and AUFC coordinated the duck activities. And finally, content. Donald Ducks is undeniably political content directed against one candidate for the sole purpose of helping another. The connection between Creamer, President Obama, and Hillary Clinton is undeniable as are the campaign law violations. If it looks like a duck, if it talks like a duck, and it walks like a duck, it's probably a duck. They broke the law. Last week, Hillary denied her connection to Creamer in AUFC. America, it's time you demand she tell the truth. And stay tuned, because there's more to come.